Hello and welcome back to the Wasteland everybody. Today we're going to be going over five more unique weapons in Fallout New Vegas that you can get early on to help you out with your adventures. If you haven't seen the first part of this, be sure to check that one out. We also have a part two-ish to this one, so I guess this is technically part three, where we also looked at weapons that are not unique, but also very strong at the start of the game. So if you're wondering why one of those weapons didn't appear on this list, it might be on that one. So without further ado, let's begin this. And our very first weapon is a very fun one. This is the Abilene Kid LE BB gun. This is the unique BB gun, which can be found at the north end of New Vegas. This is very close to the Boomer's place, so it's pretty easy to actually find that, uh, whether you're trying to find it or not. Just in a little shed, you can grab it there. This weapon kind of only works on a luck-based build or a sneak build. On every other build, it's not nearly as good. So the unique BB gun has zero requirements. Any build can use it. It has very low damage, very low DPS. It holds a lot of shots at 100 rounds, and BBs aren't too hard to find early on into the game. Most vendors, you can find them, and other houses, you can find them. So you should be able to get a decent amount of BBs early on. The main draw to this weapon, though, is that it has really high crit damage. It actually has 70 base crit damage, which is extremely high. I think that's similar to a brush gun. So if you do hit a crit, you will do really high damage with it. If you're not hitting crits, you're not going to be doing that much damage. This one has a crit modifier of 1.5 times, so it does have slightly better crit chances. And of course, if you are sneaking and you shoot something with this, which this is a silent weapon, if you shoot something with this, you'll do double damage because sneak crits always do double damage which is why it's really good on a sneak build or it's really good on a luck based build. You want to have one of those or both of those to get the most out of this weapon because even though you can grab the cowboy perk early on, which does count for this, it still won't matter, it won't give you that much damage. For our second weapon that we have here, we have the Chopper. This is the unique meat cleaver. This one can be found at Wolfhorn Ranch, which is towards the southern part of the map. You can just find it sitting on a stove. This one requires zero melee weapons to use and only two strength, so basically any build should be able to use this. It has somewhat low damage, but pretty good damage per second because it does attack fairly fast. It also has a two times crit modifier, although its crit damage is not super high either. Um, this does do bonus limb damage, so you can cripple limbs a little bit easier with it, which can be really nice for certain enemies, especially some of the weaker enemies early on, so you can hit them in the legs or something and then they can't run away from you. That way you can at least catch up to them. This also qualifies as an improved holdout weapon. So once you have 50 sneak, you can sneak this into areas, which is pretty nice. This one I didn't include with our other five great unique weapons that you can get early on because we already had Chance's Knife, and Chance's Knife kind of outcompetes this one at really any point in the game, although this one is easier to get because all you have to do is go to a location that is fairly easy to get to, doesn't have that many scary things around, whereas Chance's Knife, you do have to go north, you have to have a shovel, and you have to probably kill some Cazadors, which Cazadors are pretty scary early on. This one can be a really good early game pick if you are going with a melee character, though. Coming in our number three spot, we have Recompassance of the Fallen. This is the unique Dog Tag Fist, so this is an unarmed weapon that you can get so long as you go to Cottonwood Cove, which is where the Legion is set up. You can just walk right into the leader's uh, area up there and just steal this right out of his desk. It's very easy to do. This requires zero unarmed and only one strength, so any build can use it pretty effectively. It has okay damage per hit, okay damage per second for an unarmed weapon. Its crit damage and crit modifier are pretty average as well. It doesn't weigh too much, and it has a decent amount of item health to it, so it won't break super quick. And this does make for a pretty decent early game unarmed weapon, because there's not a whole lot of unarmed weapons that you can just kind of find laying around. There is love and hate, which you can find north of Good Springs, but you have to get through the cat's doors and you have to fight some raiders to get to it, so I didn't want to include that one on this list. All right, going back to guns for our number four weapon, we have Vance's 9mm submachine gun. You will either need to pass a speech check to get this weapon, or you will need to have so much lockpicking in order to steal this weapon. Either way, this is located just north of New Vegas. You go up there and it is an unmarked location with two people that are planning on robbing the casino using Vance's 9mm submachine gun to do this. This is the unique 9mm submachine gun. It already has both attachments that the regular 9mm can have. So it has the drum magazine giving it more ammo and it also has the lighter bolt so that it can fire faster. So you get more DPS. This one also has just better sights in my opinion than the regular 9mm. I really like the sights to this one. It only requires 25 guns and 3 strength. It does decent damage per shot, really high damage per second. This is affected by the grunt perk as well. This thing does have low crits as basically all the submachine guns do. It is technically one of the more accurate submachine guns but it's still not super accurate. This does get you a huge advantage early on though because you can spray this into basically any sort of crowd early on and 9mm is super common to find early on as well as traders tend to sell it pretty often so it's not super difficult to find this. 
may be difficult to find 9mm submachine guns to repair it with, but you can also make weapon repair kits and fix it that way too. And then for our fifth and final weapon, we have an energy weapon. This is the Q35 Matter Modulator. This one is the unique plasma rifle, and this one is really awesome. This one you can find at the Repcon headquarters. It is locked behind some doors, so you're going to either need to have a decent amount of science, I believe 50, or a decent amount of lock picking, also 50. In order to get to this weapon, you can climb all the way up the building and then drop down to it. You could also just have really high lock picking and get into it, but at that point you're like at 100 lock picking. You can also get a decent amount of ammo at this location too, which is really useful. Microfusion cells tend to show up towards the mid game of new vegas they're not super rare early on but they are less common than something like the regular energy cells which you could convert to microfusion cells at uh, a worse exchange rate assuming you have enough science i believe in order to do that this one only requires 25 energy weapons and two strength which is surprisingly low this has good damage good damage per second a two times crit modifier which is really good higher than normal crit damage which is great, it has 62 crit damage, almost as high as the BB gun that we talked about earlier. Has low action point cost, has low spread, it's just all around a really solid weapon. It's probably one of the best energy weapons in the game just in general. And it can make your early game way, way easier if you are going with an energy weapon build. Uh, even if you're not going with an energy weapon build, it is still strong enough to carry you through quite a bit. So I'd recommend checking it out. And that is five more unique weapons that you can find early on into Fallout New Vegas. Tell me your thoughts on these weapons and which weapons you like to grab early game, whether they be unique weapons or non-unique weapons, just the standard weapons. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.